So when you're dealing with um, with horizon lines and you're and drawing solids like above or below them, you have to decide, um, and this is kind of like up to you how, how to approach when you're drawing like an, a solid, is um, whether this object is below the horizon line or it's above the horizon line. Like um, if you're if you tilt your head and look up at something, um, the uh, the object is going to be above the horizon line, so you're going to like set the horizon line down low, and vice versa, you might set the horizon line up real high. For this, we're going to set it down pretty low. Um, and go ahead and put in a couple of vanishing points. Um, so when you want to draw like uh, draw a rectangular solid like this, um, let's say you're drawing something kind of like that sort of a rectangle, um, you're going to have sort of a, a skinny triangle going out to one vanishing point. And then you're going to have kind of a thicker triangle going out to another vanishing point. Wider triangle. Um, so there you've started to draw a plane so then, you know, I might start dropping up some verticals. And then when I'm drawing these verticals, I really don't have to like decide, you know, how tall they are. My intersections, uh, when I draw off the, the central vertical will uh, tell me everything I need to know. So I can just pick whatever point along here. I can pick I can pick here, I can pick here, I can pick here, I can pick here and just extend it a little more. So I'm gonna pick that little point right there. And because I've already dropped the verticals, that's already showing uh, intersections. So to define the height of this one, all I have to do is go off of either one of these to a vanishing point. And because I'm using a ruler, this will work out pretty well. Boom. So there it is. Uh, you know, sometimes you gotta think about drawing this little solid uh, above the horizon line in two-point perspective uh, because when you start breaking down buildings and stuff it's really going to be like a compilation of rectangular solids all stacked up and, and, and integrated with each other in interesting ways so um, start practicing uh, start practicing you know things above things crossing and things below the uh, horizon line <laughs>